So this video is intended to follow on from the previous video that I've done about how you connect a multi-wing to your multi-copter. In this one we'll do a very quick tour of how you actually configure the power system. And what we're looking at here is the top of one of my smaller quads where underneath this, uh, this is actually a GPS unit here, but underneath this carbon fibre plate is the actual uh, power distribution unit that's on this model. And you can see that the ESC cables come up from each of the arms into this top plate. Now actually this isn't a great place for the ESC, you have to put some um, electromagnetic protection at the bottom of it because there's a lot of power and pulsing that goes on from the power distribution unit so you want it as far away ideally from um, the GPS and also from the magnetometer that's actually on the KK, um, well not the KK 2.0 but on things like the um, APM 2.5 and also the multi weak bores themselves because of all the currents that are flowing around in these things you tend to get a little bit of interference with sensitive electronics. So what we'll do is we'll actually have a look at the power system. So here it is in all its glory, but don't worry, it looks a bit complicated. We'll actually go through this uh, piece by piece. So if we take it back to its simplest form where we have one connection um, into the um, multi we board, as we discussed in the other video, you have to make sure obviously that you're plugging in the right ESC for its location into the right pins on the multi wee and then you add the other three ESCs into place. So now we have them all plugged in and we're ready to do the power system. One of the things that you have to think about though is what kind of battery eliminator circuit you have in your speed controller. The speed controller will come with one of three types of battery eliminator circuit. It'll either come without one at all or it will come with um, a linear or it'll come with a switched. So if we go back to the uh, video, here's um, one of the uh, speed controllers that's modified for test purposes that I use in my rig. Now this one is a Hobby King 20 amp BEC and it has something called a linear BEC. Now the linear BEC means that it's a very simple um, piece of technology and the way it gets rid of the excess voltage from the battery down to the 5 or 6 volts that the electronics on the rest of the craft needs is by dumping that excess power as heat. So what's behind this big sticker on top of the BEC, uh, the top of the ESC, is actually the heat shrink and under that is a, um, a big heat sink which is a big slab of metal. Now the reason that's there is that a lot of the uh, heat that you get in an ESC actually comes from the battery eliminator circuit not from the switching itself. If it's a linear BEC then you can plug all of the leads in side by side with all three wires without any problems. If, however, it's a switched BEC, then on all but one of the connectors, what you do is you, using a pin, you lift up the red wire and withdraw it out of the connector and just keep it back there with a piece of tape or ideally um, a little bit of heat shrink. And the reason you do that is you can't run the switched BECs side by side you can only run one at once. If it's linear it doesn't care and you can just do it. So with that being said let's actually do the heavyweight power system. So we'll put the power distribution board in the middle and it'll probably look something like this. It'll either have pads on it that you solder uh, directly to. I'm not a big fan of those it means when you have to swap out components then you have to get the soldering iron out start taking things apart. Um, I prefer the ones that have little three and a half millimeter bullet connectors on them. So in this little pretend diagram, I've made one that has that. So what we can do now we have those um, bullet connectors is we can very easily just plug in each of the uh, power leads into the corresponding connectors on the power distribution board. So plus the red wires all go to the pluses, the black wires all go to the minuses. And then outside, of course, is you have the flying lead from the power distribution board that the, you then plug in the battery. So that's all there is to it, really. It's pretty straightforward. Once you've got to this stage, then you're ready to power up your model. 
what you need to do is make sure that all the props are off and that um, your transmitter's turned on, bound to the model, and then plug everything in. And then arm the motors and just put a little bit of throttle in so that they start to spin and check that each of those motors is turning in the right direction as per the diagram that we looked at in the how to connect the multi wii to your multi-copter video. If any of those motors are running the wrong way, i.e. clockwise versus counterclockwise or vice versa, then it's very easy. All you do is you just swap any two of the three wires that are going from the ESC to the motor and that will change the direction of, uh, of spin. Once you finish that, then you're ready to put your props on and to start tuning and setting other bits and pieces up. So hopefully that's easy for you to follow and make sense. Um, good luck with your build and happy flying.